<laughs> Welcome! <laughs> I'm so excited to be here with, I think there's 20 of you guys um, that are local ladies and we're all strangers and you guys can enjoy here. <laughs> and um, when Jenny signed up to host this in her house, um, she we were not viral <laughs> at the time. So um, now we have 68,000 followers. Um, wow. And we don't know how many people are going to be um, joining us on Instagram today, but we're going to try to answer questions and kind of go through some of the things that I do. This is just a normal shopping trip for me. So uh, I, the things that are in season and that I normally buy right now, and I'm just going to kind of talk through what I get and what I do with it and all that fun stuff. So anyways, okay. Okay, good. Woo! Let's do it. Right. Let's go. Okay, so I thought we would start with grapes because it's pretty easy. So normally when I do the grapes, I'm make myself some room here. Um, I normally get grapes and I break them off with scissors and I put them in like serving sizes first. So like this one, I would break in half or however your serving size is. So quiet. There's so many people here. <laughs> so do you leave them on the vine to preserve the freshness, or do you take them off? I leave it on the vine, but um, because it's just easier when you're handing them out for snacks. Um, yeah, and I think it does preserve it a little bit longer. Just me a few ones in here. Um, because you don't have the hole in the middle when you're like washing them. Fair enough. So, yeah. How long does it normally take you to process a whole thing of grapes? To wash them? It's going to take like two minutes. It'll take longer to dry them. <laughs> <laughs> Do you prefer the green grapes or red grapes or which, which, what variety of grapes is the best? Ooh. I like the red ones. Somebody at my house likes green ones. <laughs> <laughs> And so I just get whatever looks the best, honestly. But they preserve the same. Yeah. yeah. So and it's like harvest time for them right now. So if there's any yucky ones, I try to get them off right now. And what do you do with the loose guys that always end up at the bottom of the bucket? I just throw them in there. Sometimes, <laughs> actually, <laughs> I will throw them in there to wash them. But um, I will probably put them normally when I wash them in the jar, I'll put them separate, and then that way um, they don't get down at the bottom of the jar. So those get eaten, eaten first, awesome. and then um, that way the bigger ones are down at the bottom. Okay, so we're just going to soak them for two minutes. Who's going to be my timer? I got it. Two minutes. You have lots of lights coming in already. Crazy. <laughs> There's like 83 people on what? right now. <laughs> this is crazy. Alright, this is not my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Tough one. I live here and it's not mine either. <laughs> okay. Everybody always has this. So I normally buy vinegar in the big old gallon, but I think this one's prettier. Mm. Yeah. 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 Just Way prettier. Yeah, so and it's reusable. I know. And it's glass. So anyways, I buy it in the gallon. It's like $4. You buy it this size, and it's like $3. Um, and it's pretty much always a quarter cup. Quarter cup of vinegar Ooh. in the bowl for two minutes. Canada is in the house. Ontario. What? Yeah. So you leave the vinegar in with the water as like a way of like extra preserving? Yeah, and it takes off some of the preservatives if there's preservatives on there mm -hmm. or spray. So it just like extra cleans them, makes them extra pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Kills off the mold spores. Ooh. Okay. What do you guys want next? Um, the lettuce. That always melts in the bottom of my fridge. Oh, I need something smaller. Yeah, we'll put it in the bottom. Hello to South Dakota! South what? Dakota? That's crazy. <laughs> Do hello Vancouver. Oh, Vancouver. We like Seattle in the house. Minnesota. Minnesota, right? Hello from Louisiana. Wow. They're staying up late to watch us. It's 
like 10.30 there. <laughs> All right, let's do asparagus. What, New York, Canada? New what? York? Ooh. What? All right, I'm shaking. Um, <laughs> so <excited. laughs> okay, we're gonna do asparagus. Renton. Renton. <laughs> That's my sister. <laughs> Vanessa! Vanessa! <laughs> okay. Um, for asparagus, if you, if you trim the ends like this, it will break where it's supposed to break. So instead of cutting them, if you just do this. Oh, fair. Instead of cutting oh, them. Instead Way to go, Texas. I don't know why. This is just what you're supposed you to do. You snap them, right? Yeah, you snap the bottom. Tucson! Arizona. So, and then normally I have a chicken bowl. This goes to the chickens. Saskatchewan. What? what? Yes. So Michigan. So We're over 100. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyways, this is what I would normally do at home. Ooh, the Caribbean. What? <laughs> St. Kitts in the Caribbean. Okay. Not okay. Jamaica, by the way. like five years ago that I wanted to reach out to other moms and wanted to make a difference in their lives and didn't know how that was going to be. And um, so I've prayed about it for the last couple of years and my friend Suzanne, Suzanne, Suzanne I can't talk right now. Um, she can't be here tonight, but she was supposed to be here tonight and she helps me do a lot of the blog stuff and edits everything for me. And for the last years she's been like you have skills that nobody else knows and you need to like tell people and I was just like what you just don't know how to do stuff <laughs> like, <laughs> like you know you just don't know how to wash your vegetables but anyways over the last two years like really seeing people have food insecurity and with everything with the grocery stores not having stuff and not knowing if trucks were coming in or being scared to go to the grocery store it really made me realize that Maybe I did have something that people needed to um, learn and um, and to make sure that families had fresh produce in their house. And um, so, anyways, it's really important to me. And <laughs> <laughs> it's way more than just produce. It's about reaching moms and women and families. So do you find that it's better to cut the bottom of the asparagus no. or snap it? I know I snap. I was going to ask, like, maybe re do a recap, do a quick demo on what you just did there. What, well, I cheated, and I cut them. <laughs> <laughs> so you find that snapping is a better method, cutting which is for quickness? Yeah, yeah. Water. From the table to our left. Woo! <laughs> My left or your left? Ooh. Yeah. Who's left? Oh. <laughs> the one that's asking all the questions has a cute little son that was in the goldfish um, pictures. Yeah. Help me the goldfish. He's a celeb. <laughs> the local celeb corner. <laughs> currently, <laughs> currently eating macarons covered. Just with their chocolate. Amazing macarons. Okay. Did somebody have a timer? Did they forget? Did it go off yet? Did it go off? Has it been two minutes? I thought I, you heard me say it. But no, I didn't. Oh, sorry. Oh. sorry. <clears throat> okay. So. Make a fog. <laughs> maybe, maybe take a quick question. And how do I, for this question uh, is from stories, how do I keep cilantro longer? I tried, but putting it in a cup with water, but it wilted. It wilted? Did you trim the ends? Because that'll be a really good way to help it. So, so it sounds like you need to trim the ends. Trim the ends, and then I add new filtered water to it. Filtered water, filtered okay. Filtered water. Why do you use filtered water and not just tap? Because um, our city water sucks. Um. <laughs> <laughs> There's fluoride and chlorine put into tap water that can cause the plants not to grow appropriately. And the filtered water won't have the heavy minerals or the other added chemicals. Okay, so for the, um, for the grapes, I normally don't rinse them off again after I wash them unless I see like a dirty spot or something on them. So you leave the vinegar water solution on them when you yeah. put them into the jar? Yeah, they're fine. They're going to dry. So, and I'm really, I'm OCD about checking them all. So if you check them and make sure that you don't have a rotting one, then it's not going to make the whole jar of them rot. It's like that whole saying, one bad apple. Okay. 
So can you taste the vinegar? We're getting a question. No. Nope. Yeah, it just totally. So did you did you recap like how much vinegar and what the water is? It is this bowl, which holds um, ten cups. We've measured it. That's what I use most of the time. And then um, oh, we use a quarter cup of vinegar pretty much to everything. Okay, who wants to be my helper? And then you soak them for two minutes. Two minutes. And you just see on the side of the faucet. Okay. Was there another timer? Did anybody else have a timer? I think we can just hold this too. Okay. The asparagus, they don't dry. Oh, and... on timer. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll yell this time. Okay. Go? Sure. Okay. I think only a minute. I think it's already been there. A minute. I'm going to grab the fridge water. So was it the grapes that you rinsed off after you washed them in the vinegar water? I did rinse just a tiny bit, but not like I would rinse strawberries. So so it depends on the thing you're rinsing is what you do. Yes. So yeah. grapes, a light rinse, if any. Right. Strawberries, I rinse a lot. Strawberries, rinse a lot. Lettuce? I rinse lettuce and celery, always. Okay. I kept these really short because I was... So the, the, pro the overall process is the same, but there's tweaks to it depending on what you're actually right? working with. That's why with. you have to keep following me because mm -hmm. everything's different. Okay, so the asparagus I'll keep in a jar like this. This oh. is a wide mouth pint jar, which is my favorite. This one better. Me <laughs> too. Into the oh, you just spilled it all. You just spilled it everywhere. Your minute That didn't help. <laughs> minute That didn't help. You spilled it. So, I didn't know it had water in it. So real quick, I'm just going to pan to the grapes. Okay. Because people are asking, like, where'd the grapes go? What's happening? What's happening with the grapes? Everybody wants to know. They are in good hands. So the grapes, so I'm, I'm, I'm scanning over. the are fresh from the board. The grapes, they're, they're being... Okay. They're from the the colander to a paper or to a, a towel. Okay, asparagus to dry. <laughs> you don't have to lay those That's out. Pretty. Do you cover that when it goes in the fridge or anything? Or no, I just leave it like that, and they'll last for like a month. It, wow. And That's how you stir them, just like that. What, just the like asparagus? That. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I'll do wow. the wow. Asparagus wow. is right there See in it? a jar. That looks pretty. Oh, um, like a, yeah, the last. So we only go grocery shopping once every three weeks. That's why you don't see me very often. <laughs> we have our local market here. <laughs> but um, we, um, I only go grocery shopping once every three weeks to try to stay out of the stores and it helps me save money. And But I like fresh produce the whole time. And asparagus stand like this, it'll last that whole three week cycle. So sometimes it'll push over to a month if I hadn't used it yet, but they don't go bad. How can you um, not have them fall over in the in the refrigerator if you have a house full of kids. Um, yeah. <laughs> top shelf? Yeah, top so, shelf. So <laughs> questions are popping in. It's always totally spilled water everywhere. On the, on, <laughs> on the asparagus, yes. there's water in there. Yes, there's filtered water. Filtered water, water but there's no vinegar. There's no vinegar. No vinegar in the water with the asparagus. Them. I wash them in the bowl. With vinegar, though. With vinegar. Yeah. For two minutes. And then you don't have to um, dry them. You can just put them right in the jar. So. Do you rinse them in between? No, I didn't. Just yeah. go straight from vinegar yeah. into the jar yeah. water. Yeah. But no added vinegar into the jar. Nope, just filtered water. And the vinegar doesn't change the flavor mm -hmm. of the fruit at all, the vegetables. No. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. Yeah. So, yeah, if you watch on TikTok and stuff, they'll say like 15 minutes to so soak. You don't soak your stuff for 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Like two minutes, get rid of the bowl <laughs> stores. Kill all that stuff. It does everything it's supposed to do. If you like. About how much water do you have in that jar then? Um, yeah, this one it's it's filled up to the top. So this is a wide mouth pint jar. People are gonna ask me that. Yeah, it's kind of up to the top. And would you say fill up the water after you put the asparagus in? Oh, I kind of do it as I go because otherwise, yeah, yep. you could do it either way. Mm -hmm. So, so then when you take some of the asparagus out, do you ever change the water, or you just leave it with the same water? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Good one. I, I do. I'll dump out the water. If it's been a couple weeks, I'll dump out the water all the way and put new water in instead of just adding water. And you do that with the green onions too. I add brand new green, brand
brand new water into it like once a week instead of just adding new water mm. I pour out the old water and put new water in and my green onions will last for like six months on the windowsill but what? yeah wow. how do you keep the ends from going sludgy that sometimes I take the um, filtered water <laughs> <laughs> leaves off and um, just All put the it down on the roof? Kind of, yeah. They'll just, like if they're soft, you just kind of fill up, but they keep growing. And then kind of after like six months, like between four and six months, then I get tired of them. and Or I've knocked it off the window opening it or something and broke them. But you can just keep cutting them back and they keep growing. And you, and you keep it in the fridge the whole time? No, on the, uh, no, on the window seal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there are some pictures of him in our fridge from last winter, and it was because we were in the middle of a kitchen remodel, so there was dust everywhere, <laughs> so but they were in the fridge. Okay. So but you so, refrigerate the asparagus, though, right? Asparagus, yes. Okay. Yeah, just not the green onions. So shout out to, to Jen, uh, Jen Hornbuckle. Thanks for tuning in. And what is, she wants to know what your favorite food is, so maybe what's the favorite thing you like to, like to prepare? My favorite Oh, to prepare? Or... Or your favorite food, or I, I like I like that it's all pretty. <laughs> Jen knows me. Um, who? What's my favorite one? I don't know. I I like them all. I think it's just cool that they look cool and that, like I started doing this to like help littles figure out what they wanted for a snack, and then started realizing that it was um, it was easier and that things lasted longer. And I like that. It's pretty. But, um, Jen, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I like it all. I like it just to be done with it at one time. You and seem to really love the gluten-free bowl. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's like broccoli. For some reason, I don't wash all the time right at the beginning. So sometimes I wash it and sometimes I don't. So. What makes you decide if you're gonna wash the broccoli or not? I have no idea. I just <laughs> don't. I don't. You can just tell which ones look clean and which ones don't. I think sometimes it depends on if I grew it or where I got it, but. Um, you can wash them. Um, you can wash them in vinegar. Um, this is a random one that I'll wash in salt water, um, too. So, I don't know why. It's just one of those weird things that I'm trying to figure out why I do, but I don't know. But what I do with it, oh, I use the things. We're still well, fine-tuning the broccoli. Well, I know what I do with it, but this is what I'm trying to show you. But if you cut off the ends and you put it in water. So you also make sure you take off the leaves. Um, yeah, I was taking off a couple so it fits in here. But if you put them in the fridge like this. Oh, like you're growing an avocado. Yeah, then it'll last for a couple weeks. So if you buy them whole like this, and they're one of my followers. Her name is Tina. She is a naturopath in, uh, she's in, in Greece, right? Greek, she's Greek. Um, anyways, she taught me that the broccoli, if you cut it 40 minutes before you eat it, has the most can cancer fighting, like tumor shrinking wow. um, benefits. So like don't buy it um, already cut up, like mm -hmm. actually like prep it like 40 minutes before you eat it and that's what that's when the magic happens for whatever it does. So, um, so did you cut it before you put it in the jar? Yes, I just cut the little ends off. Just a little bit on the just end? The, yeah, the little end. Um, and it'll stay for a couple weeks. I didn't bring a bunch of jars. But if, you're feeding, if you're feeding a family, you're going to use pretty much that whole head. So right, you're yeah. just buying it, and then when you're done with it, you're moving on to your next product. Right, right. Okay. And then the, um, if I don't wash it right when I bring it home. So cauliflower, I never wash when I bring it home. And I think that it just goes with the broccoli, too. Like, I don't know. I, it's just what I do. But anyways, if I don't wash it when I bring it home, then I wash it in salt water right before I use it. Um, so... How often do you change the water for the broccoli? Um, I, maybe like once in like brush, like a week and a half in if we haven't used it, but I normally try to use it. Um, cauliflower. Can is, I ask a question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If your broccoli has gone soft, like if you buy it from the store and it's a little soft, does this help at all? It should be. Um, it should be just like the carrots that you can. That it'll it'll mm -hmm. kind of come back. Yeah, yeah. Like the carrots yeah. and the celery. Yeah. Okay. So cauliflower. I always take it out of the plastic when I get it home, and I break off some of the um, some of the back leaves. And this is like a random one that I don't wash, and I don't know why. Do you, you wash 
you guys are preparing it or do oh, you yeah. to overheat it? No, I totally wash it when I prepare it. So is that probably why the broccoli and the cauliflower are a little iffy is because you tend to wash them when you're preparing them as opposed to washing them as you use them? Yeah, I totally, so I just think it's something I just always have Gotten done that way. And yeah, so, but I always take it out of the plastic when I get it and I break those extra leaves off. And is that just enough so that you can have like an actual like opening on the bottom that you can... So it just airs out a little bit. Yeah. And then I just throw this in the crisper drawer just like this. Really? Oh. Just like this, and it'll last like the two <laughs> weeks, two to three weeks. Sometimes it'll, because I don't, um, I don't plan our meals out ahead of time. I kind of go based on what the groceries are that need to be, or the produce that needs to be ate. So a lot of times we'll be into the next three week cycle, and it, I still have a cauliflower in there that wow. I can wait and eat. So. Amy, like, like our question, question, someone want to know if you cover the vegetables yeah. after? No, these I just I just literally throw it in. What about the asparagus or the broccoli? Uh, nope, I leave them all uncovered. I don't like plastic in my fridge, so um, yeah. So some people put like plastic bags over their stuff, and I don't like plastic in my fridge on my food. So. People are asking about the if we can do some lettuce too, lettuce and that kind of yes. kale and all that kind of stuff. Ooh, here. I'll talk about kale first because it's in the container. Okay. Oh, well, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> so Brussels sprouts is another thing that I don't wash. And I just bring it home and I put it straight in a jar with a lid. And I still have Brussels sprouts from September 18th. Oh. So um, that are still good wow. in the thing. And in when water? I, nope. They're just in, just in a jar with it closed. September 18th. Yeah. But you rinse them in vinegar nope, water first? Nope. Nope. Yeah. No prep. You just no put anything, them straight just into them the, the jar. jar. Yeah. And then when I go to use them, then I'll do them in salt water um, for a little bit and then cook them. And then you just cut off the, the ends and like take off the outer thing and then they're perfectly good. But I mean, I have a huge, you should see this cabbage on my counter. It is literally this big. Like cabbage lasts for weeks or months. It's amazing. Know? So the same with Brussels sprouts. So I have a question. As yes. a working mom, how did you make sure that you were able to use your produce effectively and not like, oh, I'm exhausted. Let's do a freezer pizza like most moms. Like, how did you get that motivation? Um, <laughs> I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, like myself. Did I, find that I think that's a whole other class. <laughs> but, um, we have a whole freezer of like freezer meals that I batch cook. So I try to only, well, besides it, before I start blogging, I made it pictures every day. But I normally only cook two to three days a week and then we'll, um, and I'll make enough servings so that I can put two to three servings of that in the freezer. So then like tomorrow I could pull out stuffed peppers that I made two months ago and they're already ready to go. And so and prep not, is really what makes it so that you're able to effectively take care of your groceries and eat what you prepare and prepare what you buy. Right. Sure. Use yeah. this salad as an example. The the salad, all the peppers and all the stuff. All the peppers and all the stuff. Like they just it's ready to go. You just dump. Oh. You just you <laughs> yeah. just get it. It's in the fridge, ready to go. You just yeah. eat it. I have like um, this acrylic tub and it has the size um, jars in it, so it fits. Six jars, eight jars, six jars, I think. And so I always have like the salad prepped and I have peppers and radishes and carrots and whatever, like salad toppings. Like a salad bar. It's a, yeah, it's a salad basket of things. And so we pull it out and then we have the, um, yeah. So salad stuff is always ready to go. So you think that the prep is honestly what makes it easy to just stay motivated to do it? Yeah, because it's all pretty and it's done for you. Like it's. You already spent whatever time that first day, and now it's easy. It's easy, yeah. If you've joined on live and you haven't told us where you're from, drop a comment to tell us where you're from. Hey. Okay, lettuce. I just cut off the end. Oh, I was going to talk about the kale. Okay. All right, I just think this is the prettiest thing ever, and I always look at it. Like, I always <laughs> he always laughs at me, because I always stop and look at it. I just, I don't know. I think it's pretty. Nature. But I know. Indiana. Bonnie In, Lake. Indiana. Kelso, Oregon. <laughs> New Jersey. Really? Spokane. <laughs> Myrtle Beach. Nice. Tri Cities. Way to go, Sid. Is that a, a crossy? That was, yeah. <laughs> Illinois wants to see your fridge. Please don't. 
Sandy, <laughs> San Diego, Indiana, Orlando. I am not at my own house right now. Orange County. <laughs> but Hawaii. What? Woo! Is that Denise? Alberta. Felisa. Lake Taps. Denise, we see you. Shout out to the Bronx. Oh, wow. Okay, Ollie, it's just a quarter cup in my bowl. Fresno. Okay, who's going to be my two minutes? Ontario. Oh. Arizona. Alberta. Boy, Canada is showing up today. That's awesome. Two minutes on the timer. Somebody. I got it. Okay. Okay, this is another random. I always use cold water, too. For sure, on the berries, I always use cold water. And I don't know why I do it on everything. But. Kentucky. Connecticut. What? Do you separate the lettuce meats? Since you got off the bottom. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. And then I spin it. So. Oklahoma, Tennessee. What? This is crazy, you guys. I'm just so felt so blessed. Okay. How are we doing on all 50? Someone keep close. Them What's that? Can we close all 50? States. States. 50. Oh, I wasn't <laughs> keeping track. <laughs> Probably. It'll show up on Pretty close. Thing. Feels right. like we've got the lower 48, so. Yeah. This is the one that's on the Amazon um, cart, and I like it because the other one we had was humongous and you couldn't store it anywhere. And this one, it locks down, so it fits in the cupboard better. So. Anyways. Thanks, Iowa. Thank you, Texas. Idaho. One minute. Okay. So, two minutes. What can you use if you don't have a spinner? It just takes longer to dry. I didn't have a spinner forever, and then I finally got one off of Buy Nothing. Um, for our local group, because we have local moms that are cool, but it was humongous, and it like wouldn't fit anywhere. And and then and the the top part just stuck up so far. So anyways, I like this one, and it works. Um. Anyways, this is the lettuce container that I have found. So normally, if it's not a mason jar or the glass jars, I use the um, oh, Pyrex snapware um, containers, okay. and then this is from Costco. Yeah. Um, and then this one I found that, that does the <laughs> lettuce heads. And so if you're looking at it on the Amazon thing, it has a whole chicken in it. So that's the one that... Four seconds. Four, oh, okay. And then, anyway, so this lettuce is from Two a minutes. couple... Cool. This lettuce is from a couple weeks ago when we went to the store. Um, so, or this is kale. But, um, I bought it for, a uh, kale. Well, I'll use it, but I... There is a reel out there about kale that I was going to do. It's a funny reel. And um, anyways, I can't find it again. So if anybody finds the kale video, the kale reel that I was trying to do, but if you know what I mean, send it to me. <laughs> anyways, this lettuce is a couple weeks old, or kale is a couple weeks old. Oh, so wow. um, there's just one leaf that has kind of turned a little yellow, but it's not bad at all. So. Do you always put paper towels in the yes. uh, containers? Here, I'm gonna just get this again. Um, I use a paper towel at the bottom, or I have these microfiber cloths that I use, but I always use, so I use these sometimes in the lettuce or um, different vegetables, but not the berries, because they'll stain them, and that drives me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and is there vinegar with the lettuce? There's nothing in here, but I wash them just the same as I wash the lettuce. So, but yeah, so these are, oh, October 30th is when I bought that. And you so. only use glass for storage. Yeah. What about in the freezer? What do you do in the freezer for for storage? I you... still use plastic in the freezer. Sometimes, but there's some glass, too. Yeah, we Depends use on plastic. what it is. Yeah. Um, our freezer's pretty full, so it depends <laughs> on where I'm trying to cram it in. Um, so, so the paper's all wet, or is it just dry? Oh, no, dry. It's to collect the moisture. Okay. Yeah. So, and we don't really use that many paper towels. Like, I mean, that's one paper towel a month, you know, so... Um, for a while, I was trying not to use paper towels and be more minimalist about it, but I don't like things on my, I don't like stains on my towels either. <laughs> so, okay, two minutes. So the lettuce is something that I will look at to make sure there's nothing in here, and I'll rinse it off as I go. Um, and you haven't quite figured out why you use salt sometimes and vinegar other times? It's just the broccoli, cauliflower, and cabbage for some reason. I'm going to have to look into that. <laughs> it's a gut feeling. I don't know what it is. There's an, yeah. 
I'll check that out later when we get to that. So I normally do the lettuce like in two batches. Any lettuce questions while we're spinning? What kind of lettuce? Always? I, I pretty much buy romaine most of the time. Romaine or spinach? spinach? I have spinach, so it's going to okay. be nice. Yeah. yeah. Um, do you buy spinach like in the bag or yeah. do you buy it tall? Yeah, like power greens from yeah. Costco. Um, if it's the tall ones from the farmer's market, you can wash it like this and put it in a jar. So, um, and then I'll show you how we're going to do this. But you can put it in a jar with the water. Um, Question about uh, Brussels sprouts. Yeah. Does it make a difference if you buy them loose or on um, the Oh, on a, we call them the armpits. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we do. <laughs> Sydney's watching and she's laughing. <laughs> we call it the armpit vegetable. <laughs> That's how much water came off of that. Can you see? And how many yeah. times do you spin it? Just once? It only needs one push. For some reason, I always like hit it like three times. Um, I'm going to just throw this here and then come back. Where did you get your salad spinner? It's on Amazon in my cart. <laughs> support me. Go there. <laughs> Are there any other ways to support you besides tuning into your life? Ooh, there is. Um, I am doing... Um, a Patreon account, which is a $10 a month, like you join for $10 a month. And we do this once a month with all the Patreon people. They can send me pictures of their fridge or their pantry and I help them um, with tips. Um, I've owned a housekeeping company for a really long time and so I've been in a lot of people's fridges and pantries over the years. <laughs> so um, anyways, that's like one of benefit is that I will actually like take a peek in their fridge or their pantry and try to help them with some ideas. Can you do that virtually? Yeah. Yeah. And then, um, oh, Patreon. So on Patreon, we have food allergies in our family and that's where I can really like help other family members, other families, um, break down recipes. Um, one of my favorite stories that happened, um, since I started this is, somebody really missed having ranch and she couldn't have ranch at all. And, um, we, everything in our house is pretty much a single ingredient and I've learned how to make everything from scratch. <laughs> and um, anyways, I was able to break it down and teach her how to make mayonnaise that was safe for her because there was something in the mayonnaise that she couldn't have and to rebuild it to make ranch. And she was just like so excited that she could have ranch again in her life. Like, and it's just those little things like the, the gluten-free goldfish. Like you can't buy goldfish that are gluten-free. And um, it's just such a simple, easy recipe that like we can help somebody, but it's not very, very free. But like those little things that to teach families how they can break down items and, and make things allergy friendly. I can do that more on Patreon um, than I can anywhere else. And then I forgot I was talking about Patreon. So, um, and you know, they, they support you. I know it's Patreon. It's Patreon, people. Have Patreon. You, what, <laughs> so what, is, what is Patreon? I'm not familiar with. So that. it's like a ten dollar a month membership, and then you get on a private um, Facebook group that is only members. And so we're trying to build a community uh, on there too. So instead of like Instagram, that you don't get to really interact with other people, you're just asking me questions. This way, you're like building mom friends um, on Patreon and then um, also they get special discount codes that I can't give out to other people so and what um, about like if we uh, see something that we love that you use as a product do you have like links for it is there any way that if we bought that stuff, it would Amazon you? store most of the time yeah so there's the Amazon store and then I got approved for um, like it to know it so um, there's gonna be um, there's going to be discount codes and stuff on like it to know it, which is another um, way to support me. But um, is that from your blog post then? Or yeah, there will be little okay. links um, on there. So yeah, you, if there's you, anything you ever want to buy and there's a link, that's how to support us. Um, we have already started building a team. Um, we have um, Susanna and Lindsay and Elizabeth um, that are helping me like take my ideas and make them into the blog posts and. Um, and make sure that we can get two two posts out a week. Like we couldn't do it without them. Like it's crazy. And then we need to hire um, lawyers to do our trademarks and all that kind of stuff. Because this went viral like so crazy. Like 
we just started four months ago, and now we have 68,000 followers. Like, Do you have a website then that's associated yeah. with your Gold Coast? The crosslegacy.com. And what was, going back to the um, Brussels sprouts, on the on the tree or not on the tree? Well, they need to be off the tree to put them in the jar. But, but to purchase way. them, does it matter? It doesn't matter. Okay. Either way. Yeah. And then, have you, you haven't done carrots yet, right? Yep, I have some. Carrots. Carrots are coming up. Stay tuned. <laughs> and if you're just joining, feel free to drop a comment of where you're from. How long on average does everything sit out to dry? Do you leave it off like half a day just because you're like, I'm going to go do stuff and come back later, it's fine? Yes. Perfect. Yes. <laughs> I'm tired of that the makes sense of real life. I come home and do it and I don't sleep until really late at night and before I go to bed I put it away. But putting it away is my favorite part. Like, oh, so my, you look forward to it. Yeah. So after the house is quiet and like I get to like <laughs> make my fridge all pretty, like that's my favorite part. But no, most of the time I'll sit out for like four hours. I go take a bath, I do whatever. Sumner's in the house. Sumner. Woo! Maui's in the house. Maui. Okay. Marilyn. I'm going to let somebody else over there set this out for me. But when I set out the lettuce, this is important. But I always lay it out this way. So I always call it umbrella. Like the umbrella. Umbrella, not boat? Yeah, umbrella, not boat. You've read my post. <laughs> Um, umbrella, and then when I put it in the container after it's dry in hours, like probably not tonight or later tonight, but um, I always put it in this way also, and then that way as the moisture is released from the lettuce, because even if it's all the way dry, um, there's still moisture inside the lettuce that will come out, it will drip down instead of getting stuck in the boot. So, anyways, whoever wants to. So do you think that that um. This would be an awesome way to do it if, like, you had to, like, go grocery shopping on your way home from the gym, and then you got to do this, and then you could leave it while you're at work, and then when you got home from work, you could put it all away. Oh, in the morning gym? Yeah. Like, people go to the gym in the morning. There's some <laughs> crazy people that like to work out. I am not among them. I'm just what are you about in the morning? <laughs> you know those people that wake up in the morning, not the late owls. Okay. Us. Somebody did say that they left. It depends on if they have animals. Okay. And um, somebody left their strawberries out and their dog got them. Um, so we don't have animals, so I don't think about that. Um, we got chickens. We have chickens, yes. And one more time, I don't think Not in the house, super though. loud. What do you do with the bits and pieces that need to get tossed out? Like, what do you do with the garbage? Do you compost oh, it? Oh, we have chickens. So chickens. you use it as chicken feed? Yeah, yeah. There's always a chicken bowl. There's, yeah. <laughs> There's a chicken bowl, yeah. I guess the chickens. Do you want spinach? People want to know how do you like? Do you have any tips on preventing freezer burn in the freezer? In the freezer? Yeah, like freezer burn. Like, do you, is there anything you can do to prevent that when you're storing stuff in the freezer? Not necessarily related to this, but it's a hot topic right now. That is a hot topic. Yeah, three times it's been asked. Really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay. So maybe so, that'll be another video. That will be a whole different thing when we start talking about pantry kind of stuff. But I'll kind of answer that is if you're getting a freezer burn, it's probably because you're not rotating the stuff in your refrigerator, your freezer very often. And once a season, I so, would say. So the amount of time it's in the freezer, yeah. if you can lower that amount of time. Um, so once a season, so normally before summer and after summer, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Um, I always do it before summer and after summer, um, for sure, and I kind of just go through and I make a list of what I want to use up. So, like, I know I don't want hot dogs, like, in November. So, at the end of the summer, I'm trying to use up, you know, hot dog buns or whatever might be in there. And then, um, anyways, if you if you do that, like, twice a year, then you're not going to have so much stuff that is just getting forgotten about. That's just um, bits and pieces, you know. So, tip of the day is use the stuff that's in your freezer. Right? Rotate it accordingly. <laughs> and that's wanna, the bonus tip. <laughs> the bonus tip. I want to give a shout out about that though to Jordan Page at Shelf Cooking because. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. So in September she does a shelf cooking challenge for the whole entire month, and she is actually the one, the blogger that gave me the courage to like, you need to sign up an Instagram account and do this, and 
she shared my fridge right at the end of June um, on her page that has tons of people on it. And then um, like a couple weeks later, she shared my blueberries that lasted six weeks. And they actually lasted eight weeks the time I, um, the time we used them. But anyway, if it wasn't for Jordan, I wouldn't have had the courage to actually like set up the cross legacy. So, shelf cooking, shelf cooking, shelf cooking. It's her page. Or budget boot camp. So Amy, what happens when you get home and you open up your strawberries and your blueberries and your raspberries and you go, oh man, they're already moldy. Oh, okay. I'm so picky at the store. So, um, I like, yes, yes. I open them, I'm like looking around, I put it back. My, my Do you family, go through them while you're at the store? I don't open I don't open it, but I'm I'm looking. I'll take an extra second to look. Like I hate when somebody's helping me and throw something in the store in the garden. <laughs> but, um, Talking about me? I'm just saying. But um no No, I take I try to take an extra second and then you're washing them right away, so you're getting any moldy ones away, so it's not ruining the whole bunch of them. Um, so you don't think that waiting until the morning after you grocery shop is a wise choice? Just if you get your groceries, get it done? Yeah, just get it done. Get it done. Otherwise, you're not going to do it the next day. Also, how do you remember the dates on all of the things that are in your fridge? Is there a special way that you make sure that's taken care of? Um, Yes, I only go shopping once every three weeks, so it's really easy. <laughs> but do you like label them at all, or yeah. do you put anything on your thing to let you know? I use um, Sharpie and glass, and um, it comes right off. So I write things um, on glass, especially when I have a ton of like different green things in the fridge to like say if it's bok choy or kale or spinach or whatever. Yeah, I cameoed a reel if you guys happen to notice that in a story on how. It how to, clean how to clean that off. Two minutes. You got it? Oh, two minutes. Um, I forgot to say it. When, that was the other thing. Hold on, hold on. Um, when I'm at the store, and especially with the spinach, I look for the one that looks the driest. So even if I'm reaching down low to pull it out, like look for the one that's the driest, that they're not getting mushy inside already. So Amy, live life to the max wants to know, is that spinach that you're doing right now? Yes. Okay. Yeah, and this was from Costco today. So, yeah. do you think that organic is better over whatever is just the standard house brand? I try to buy organic whenever I can. Do you think it preserves better? Uh, for bananas, for sure. But um, I just believe in organic. <laughs> so, fair enough. Yeah. So Perfectly whenever I can, fair I get... Co would like to know what kind of vinegar Ooh, you're using. That was my. Oh, the, oh sorry. Uh, this is distilled five percent vinegar. Um, and I'll say it again. I normally buy it in the gallon because it's cheaper. This is just pretty. So, and then I refill it. Um, and it's easier for doing videos. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's pretty. It's glass. I love it. But in, um, we learned this in Australia. Their, their um, vinegar is 4.5% is the right one, not their 8% oh. one. So, wow. so here it says 5% in Australia. It's their four and a half percent. And then the ones that say seven percent, those are for cleaning. Don't use those. Um, Maybe recap that one more time. Okay. So, do you want me to do the pretty part? I, I, like, like, I like this bottle because it's pretty. <laughs> I buy it in a gallon and I pour it into here with a little funnel. And I just, this is easier for me. Um, and especially doing videos and stuff, this is the size is easier. But this bottle costs more than the gallon, so buy the gallon <laughs> um, and reuse them. But um, anyways, I normally get the or I get the five percent, and in the United States, it's the five percent. In Australia, <laughs> in Australia, it's four and a half percent is what they're looking for for the white to still begin. But vinegar. don't go we over the five it. because then it turns into a cleaning. Yeah, the seven percent is made for cleaning. Like, um, like cleaning showers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Not, not for consumption. Thank you okay. to all the new people that are joining right woo, now. Woo. Can you call out where they're from? <laughs> Love to hear where you're from. Casey, where are you from? Are you always using the same quantity of vinegar in yep. each of the things that you yep. do? Does it matter how much or how little of the product? 
And if it's this um, big bowl, if it's this bowl, I use a quarter cup. And you said that's 10? It's 10 cups. Of so water? Or of water. Yes. Yeah, okay. it holds 10 cups of water. Sometimes I have 150 pounds of tomatoes and I have this great big thing, then I put a lot more in. But for this size. What about salt? What's the ratio of salt in that? Ooh, I don't know. That's a whole nother episode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is there somewhere that people could share this after the event so Ooh. that they can make sure that their friends and family also are aware of the Cross Legacy way of preserving their fruits and vegetables? You guys could share it right now to your friends, too. Um, that would help get more followers on. Um, so this, I know I do the spinach like in two or three batches. So reminder, shout out to where... where where you're from or where you're sitting, Where's in your living beach? room or in the, on the beach in Maui. Ooh, how did they hear from, about us? Oh yeah, comment how you heard from us. Is it how you is? heard of us. Is it in Maui? Is it, Denise oh, oh. is in Maui and she's in the coffee group. Look oh. on the thing. What? Is it Denise? Is, is it Denise? saying she's from Maui? Yeah, I think it was... Um, she was supposed to be here tonight. Or she wanted to be here. She tonight. wanted to be Callie, here. Callie the... Oh, oh, no, no. She's one of our Patreon members. Woo, woo, woo. I don't, I'm not sure. How do you spell Patreon? P A T R O N. R O N. Yeah, there's like a weird E O. Like, okay, tequila? look. See how much water. Like, from. Like, what? How much? How much water was on it? What? what? Carolina, North Carolina. Right, I'm actually doing this. I've done the spinach two times. Two times. Did you, Did you see, see that? the spinach two times because just, there was that much moisture? That was that much water on it. Yeah. So, is that normal? determination on if you get the second spin is how much moisture you get off the first one? Yeah, but it looks just super wet. This looks super wet. Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N. Yeah, it's patreon.com backslash, backslash, I always say that wrong, backslash, backslash um, the cross legacy, if you want to sign up. See, that was the second spin. Wow, what's going on? Yeah, so people are asking like what's happening when I pan over and take a quick shot of the vegetables that are drying on towels right now. So we kind of spread them out. They're drying on towels, fruits okay, and vegetables. Not normally how the lettuce looks. I just kind of Yeah, we're, we're kind of, we got a lot of, we, we, there's not as much real estate and we're doing a lot of them at one time right now, but it, they just lay them out on a towel. Yes, on towels. Okay, I'm gonna dump over here. Give me a second. What's the next question? Let's see, what we got? You're using this basic uh, terry cloth towels, like how yeah. you get in the hardware yeah. store? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if you're tuned in, feel free to shout out, ask a couple questions in the chat. <laughs> um, it, that's the question. Okay. If there's any little bugs in your broccoli, it'll get it out. Is what it does. <laughs> so, that's, I've done that. I've heard about doing yeah. it for like berries. Yeah. Like raspberries, yeah. blackberries. The vinegar does it for that. Um, so we haven't done raspberries no, yet. No, we haven't done any there's of the berries. Yet. There's berries to come. Do we have a time limit on what we're doing? It has to stop in an hour, and people are asking questions. 
So Instagram will stop us at. Oh. That's what I'm saying. Oh. We got four minutes. Oh my oh. goodness. We might have to go live again. We could go live again. Did people want us to go live again? If you want us to keep going. I have more stuff. Uh, yes. With a question about Give avocado. Us Give us thumbs up. Speak up. Speak up. Thumbs up. Oh, the hearts are popping up. Yeah. yeah. Lots of hearts. Come on. Yeah, there we go. So if it cuts off at an hour, then we'll just redo it. Yeah. I want to hear about avocados. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We learned this week. Right about avocados. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Avocados, oh, yeah. avocados oh, yeah. is a question. Thumbs up. Yes. Thumbs up, hearts. Oh boy, questions are coming in. Okay. Boy, I, you threatened to cut it off and people are <laughs> acting up. It's Instagram. <laughs> okay, the spinach. We always buy a new bag of spinach every three weeks. No matter what, I always buy a new bag. And if um, we still have some left, I just throw it right in the freezer and then that's what I use for smoothies first next. So I always get a new bag every three weeks. And then I use this for fresh for omelets or salads or whatever. And then... Whatever's left, I just, it's all ready. You just have to throw it straight in the freezer and it can go straight in the freezer. Um, and then we don't always have, this is a random one, we don't always have room for spinach in, um, in the fridge. This thing I'm going to spread out more. Okay. And I put them in stasher bags that are silicone and they're airtight. And then I'll put a piece of paper towel in with them. And then that way, it's already in the bag, and I just throw it right in the freezer. What's the bag again? A stasher bag. And what's super cool about those bags? Uh, those bags can go into the dishwasher, and you can put them in boiling water for, um, I can't say it, ceviche. Um, and uh, the, they can go in the dishwasher. And so I try to only buy that brand, um, and then not get them mixed up with other ones that can't go in the dishwasher. And then, I, then everybody knows that, like... All of them are dishwasher safe. So what was the name of that again? Stasher Brands. See, Stasher. We need like an affiliate. Stasher. Do you, do you have, are you affiliate with them? No, I'm not. But they're kind of spendy. I'm not going to lie. They're like 20 to $30 a piece, but they last forever. And like, we can help. Can you use them for soupy? Yeah. Yeah. That, okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And you can put, I haven't done it yet, but you can put oil in it and do popcorn in the microwave. Cool, like wow. in the bag. Yeah. So. Anyways, but if you're getting like mixed up ones from other places that can't do all the things that they can do, then you can damage your dishwasher or your <laughs> microwave or whatever you're doing. So, um, so we need for the next <laughs> hour. We have Woo! questions on onions and mushrooms, uh, mushrooms and potatoes and what am I missing? Berries. Oh yeah, we have all the berries here. Okay. Yes, berries. Berries. Should we? Do you think we're gonna? Should we just? Yeah. While you're on avocados, the, someone, yeah, celery. Should we do avocados? Someone just asked if the spinach dries out completely like the lettuce does. Yes. Garlic. Yeah. Not how it's sitting right now because right. it's um, in a big old pile, but I'll spread it out more and then it does well. Um, so we might get cut off in like one minute. So we'll okay. um, when we do, we'll just restart. Right. So the avocados, um, we just did the blog post on that. I just normally wash these real quick and then set them over to dry and always take the sticker off of them. But this was interesting that we didn't know until we were doing research. I always, always, always have one drawer in my refrigerator that's avocados and lemons. And I get the lemons at Costco, so it's the big bag. And they last two grocery cycles, so six weeks. And then I get avocados. I did not get them at Costco today. Um, <laughs> they were not the um, ones I wanted to grab. But um, anyways. The lemons and the avocados are like fridge buddies, and they help each other stay fresher longer. And I had no idea. I just always put them in the fridge in that drawer together. So I always have one drawer that has um, the um, lemons and the avocados in it, and then the other drawer has whatever random produce item for that time. But not limes? Can, limes? Oh, yeah. Limes can go oh, in there, too. Okay. Yeah. Or, yeah. or, or yeah. 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 yeah, but it's the lemons for some reason help the avocados and I had no idea that was one of the secrets to why my avocados last so long and then when you so I wash them and dry them and um, yeah just wash them dry them I don't worry about rinsing them off again or whatever and that will kill off any mold that might be on them and I put them right in the fridge you want to make sure that they're exactly the um, the firmness that you want um, when you buy them and not rock hard ones because once they go on the fridge they stop ripening it stops the process. 
And then um, these wide mouth pint jars fits a whole avocado or a half an avocado with the lid on it. And normally after you cut it, if you put it in right away and seal it, if it's just half the av avocado, it'll last for another week. Um, with the, the seed, correct? Yeah, the seed and the peel help it, but either way, um, half the time I forget and I take the seed off and I've already dropped it when I have when I put it in there. But anyway, so I buy avocados every three weeks, but I only buy lemons every six weeks, and we always have them around. All right, let's let's. Uh, I'm just gonna stop to here. Stop I'm gonna try to save this so we can watch it so, later. Yeah. So give us two minutes, and then we'll restart again. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. We're, we'll come back. Yeah. Maybe yeah. five minutes. And everyone in house grabs. Yeah, some go food get food. <laughs> and, and video. Yeah.